Hello students, we are solving the IB Math AA AGL past paper questions and kindly we are solving the IB Math AA AGL May 2023 paper 1 time zone 2 past paper. Today we will be solving the question number 7 of this paper. You will be getting the links to all the previously solved questions of this paper and of the other papers in form of playlist in my channel NS Online Math Tutoring Classes. So without any further delay, let us start answering question number 7. The maximum mark is 7. Use mathematical interaction to prove sigma r equal to 1 to n r over r plus 1 factorial equal to 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 factorial for all integers n greater than or equal to 1. Okay. So, since n is greater than or equal to 1, the smallest value of n is equal to 1. So, we will be starting with n equal to 1. Okay. Or n equal to 1, left hand side is equal to sigma r equal to 1 to 1, in place of n I am writing 1, now r is having the value of 1, so it is 1 over 1 plus 1, that is 2 factorial, which is equal to, 2 factorial is 2, so it is basically 1 over 2, r equal to 1 to 1, so we will be having a single term, so, this left hand side is equal to half when n equal to 1 and the right hand side is equal to 1 minus 1 over n is 1. So, it is 1 plus 1 factorial and 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 factorial is 2. So, this is 1 minus half which is equal to half. So, left hand side is having the value of half, right hand side is also having the value of, of half when n equal to 1, okay. So, therefore, the relation is satisfied for n equal to 1, okay. Let the relation be true for n equal to k where k is greater than or equal to 1 and k is an integer. So, therefore, r equal to 1 to k in place of n, we are writing k, r over r plus 1 factorial, which can be written as, I am just writing different values of r, it, we will be having k terms, so add it together. So, the first term is 1 over 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 factorial plus r equal to 2, so 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 3, so 3 factorial plus 3 plus 4 factorial and so on, plus last value of r is k, so it is k over k plus 1 factorial, this is equal to 1 minus, now n equal to k, so the, in place of n we will be writing k, 1 minus 1 over k plus 1 factorial is true. Okay. So, to prove for n equal to k plus 1, sigma r equal to 1 to k plus 1, r over r plus 1 factorial is equal to 1 minus 1 over k plus 1 plus 1 factorial or k plus 2 factorial. Okay? In place of n, I have written k plus 1. So, this is 1 minus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. Okay. So, now we have to prove this. Sigma r equal to 1 to k plus 1, r over 
r plus 1 factorial i'm writing the term separately okay is equal to 1 over 2 factorial plus 2 over 3 factorial plus 3 over 4 factorial and so on i'm taking different values of r okay and so on and when r equal to k it is k over k plus 1 factorial, okay, right, factorial plus when r equal to k plus 1, it is k plus 1 over k plus 1 plus 1 is k plus 2, k plus 2 factorial, okay, and this part, this part is nothing but 1 minus 1 over k plus 1 factorial because this is exactly the same as this expression. So, in place of this, we can write these terms. I can write 1 minus 1 over k plus 1 factorial. Okay. So, this is 1 minus 1 over k plus 1 factorial plus k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial okay now i have to have the 1 minus expression i know what expression should i be getting okay but there is a very common mistake that students do is that they keep 1 minus and they do i'm just writing this is not correct okay they, they take k plus 2 factorial as the common denominator. For that, they multiply the denominator by k plus 2 and the numerator by k plus 2. That is fine. The common denominator should be k plus 2 because you need the k plus 2 factorial in the denominator. So, that is fine. What they do is k plus 2 factorial and then from here you are getting k plus 2 because they have multiplied the numerator by k plus 2, 1 times k plus 2 is k plus 2 and plus k plus 1. This is wrong. This is totally wrong because what you are doing is you are taking the minus sign outside these two terms. You can take the minus sign outside. Then in that case, this will be a plus sign and this will be a minus sign. Okay. This you can write this as 1 minus 1 over k plus 1 factorial minus k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. If you take this minus sign outside, you have to change the sign of this term as well. So, don't do this mistake. I have seen many students getting stuck at this stage. Okay. So, or else if you are not confident, you can just take, I'm just encircling this. This is not correct. Okay. Or else you can just take 1 plus k plus 1 factorial, uh, k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial minus 1 over k plus 1 factorial. This works. Okay. So, or else you have to take it this way. So, this is equal to 1 plus, as I have said, the, we will be taking the k plus 2 factorial as the common denominator. So, we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by k plus 2. So, this is k plus 2 factorial and this one is k plus 1. And minus e and minus 2. Okay. So these two will be getting cancelled, and 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So this is equal to 1 minus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. Okay. Proved. Therefore, the relation. is true for n equal to k plus 1 whenever 
it is true for n equal to k, k belonging to the set of positive integers and to be more specific, I can write k is greater than or equal to 1. Okay. The relation is true for n equal to 1. Therefore, the relation is true. For all n, for all integer values of n, and n greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so this is our answer. We have completed solving this question number 7. Thank you for staying with me till the end. I am Nilanjana Sanyal. I am an online IB Math EE SL and HL level tutor. I tutor students from both within India and outside India and I offer both one-on-one -on -one and small group online tutoring services to my students. In case you are liking my explanation, please do give this video a like and please to share this video with your friends in case you like this video. And please subscribe to my channel in case you have not subscribed to my channel till now. In case you are having any doubts, any confusions, any queries, please feel free to write to me in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer your questions. We meet again very soon in our next session. We'll be solving the very next question of the same paper. Till then, bye.